Hello, my most radical squad members, Napkins here, and today I am here to talk about mental health and why we should keep an open conversation going about it. So, as you guys may or may not know, this week is actually Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, and that's really, really important. I, um, and I, I know I just made a post recently about how, um, I deal with anxiety and, like, my recent struggle with that and how, you know, like, it affects my life. But I wanted to make another, I wanted to make another video talking about it, especially in honor of this week. Um, because I do think it's really important to talk about and I want to be able to speak openly about it and hopefully inspire people and educate people and maybe help them realize that they might be dealing with this as well so basically let me start with a little uh like anecdote from my past is that the right word i think it is but um basically when i was really really young um like i think possibly in the 90s um it might have been early 2000s my cousin um killed himself um, but at the time, because I was so young, everybody just, everybody was honest about it. They said, you know, um, your cousin, he's, he died, um, he found a gun, they were, they kind of like danced around it, but I kind of understood what happened, like it hadn't happened to him, he did it to himself. But the way that they explained it was they just said something was wrong with his brain, the chemicals in his brain weren't right. And me, I was just like, okay, so something was wrong with his brain, that's all, it was... And it wasn't until years later that I realized that the chemical imbalance was actually that he was extremely depressed and it had led him to suicide. Um, and even, it wasn't really, and you know, it's like you hear stories around town about, um, you know, so-and-so died, so-and-so killed themselves, um, but it, it doesn't really hit you um, until you like truly understand it or, or like it impacts you personally. And it wasn't until college when I started to get, like, like I had a panic attack, I started getting really nervous about things that didn't used to make me nervous, um, I started getting, like, I just, like, didn't have the energy, I didn't enjoy things that I normally would enjoy, and I, it wasn't until then, and some of my friends started talking about their own struggles with that, that I really started understanding mental illness, and it's sad because not once in high school did they really talk about this like that not once did they really explain like hey it doesn't just come in the form of you want to kill yourself it can come in lots of different forms it doesn't it's not the problem is high schools and teachers and even parents they really equate mental illness to like extreme measures and the truth is that mental illness doesn't always have to go to those extreme measures to really be affecting you you know, I just assumed that to have a mental illness, it meant that you wanted to hurt yourself really badly, or it meant that um, you had a bipolar disorder, which even then I didn't really understand. I just equated that to Britney Spears shaving her head off, her hair off, not her whole head. Oh my God. Um, and I, I equated it to anorexia and bulimia and like that kind of stuff. And it wasn't until college when I started getting affected in negative ways that were not that extreme. And then my friend, who is now getting her PhD in psychology, explained to me, Amy, you don't have to be going through those specific things to have a mental illness. And then, you know, like, being surrounded, somehow, all of my friends, this is a sad truth, in my group of friends, I think that only one or two of them, I am, like, 50% sure that they don't have some sort of mental illness. And that's only because they don't talk about it, because some people don't want to talk about it. But all my other friends have some sort of something, like some sort of demon that they are struggling with. And that's, that's crazy that, like, like that many, like within my group of friends that I can only sort of say that maybe one or two of them aren't struggling with something. That's crazy. And yet, I still didn't know how mental illnesses worked until college. And then, even then, it was only because people kept talking about it around me, and I was like, that's what I'm going through, or, man, like, and then my friend had to say to me, Amy, you should really go see somebody, because I think that you have some depression and anxiety, and sure enough, that's what I was diagnosed with, so, basically, what I'm trying to say is, it should not take until I'm 
almost legal to drink to understand what's going on with me. Like, I should have... I should have been able to, like, figure that out a long time ago. Because looking back, I've been dealing with some of this stuff for a long time. But it took, like, like it's festered. It got worse and worse because I had nobody telling me what to do about it. So, basically what I'm trying to say is that we need to keep an open conversation about mental illness. Not just in college, but in earlier years and even beyond college. And it needs to be an open conversation that's constantly happening with your friends, with your kids, with your parents, with just, with your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your everything in between. You just gotta, you've got to talk about it. You gotta be open about it. You know, I'm, I, I don't always like to tell people what I'm dealing with, but I do tell people that I trust what I'm going through because I want them to be very clear about, you know, sometimes I'm just not gonna want to hang out, even though I said I would yesterday. Guess what? Today, I have zero energy for this. I just, like, I cannot deal with being around people for longer than I have to be at work. Like, it's something that I want to be open about as much as I'm comfortable, but I want to be open about it because, you know what? Me being open about it has actually gotten some people to come to me and say, you know, I think that I'm dealing with something like that too. You're always telling me how, you know, just like walking down the street by yourself, you can't do it. And like, it, it, it's just, I feel like having an open conversation about it helps remove a certain stigma around mental illness. I think that there's an awful stigma around mental illness that should not be there because it's not fair to those of us who, who are dealing with it, who have to see that sort of stuff. Sorry, hiccuping. Um, you know, it's like, it's not fair to us to see that and feel like we have to be ashamed of being anxious all the time or being, you know, depressive to the point where something that we normally enjoy just like does not interest us anymore. It shouldn't be that way and kids should not have to feel that way specifically. They should feel like they can talk to anybody about it. They should not feel like they constantly have to fake it for everybody just so that their parents will be proud or their teachers will be proud or their coaches will be proud. They should be able to be open about it and they should know that they have people to talk to and they should know what's going on with them. They shouldn't think something's wrong. Do you know how wrong I thought I was because of what I was going through? I still sometimes think that I'm wrong. And that's, that's sad. I know that that's sad. And I know you guys are probably going to think that's sad hearing me say that, but it's true. Like, I really did not understand mental illness until really recently. And it's, it, I feel like I could have been in a much better place if I'd known more about it sooner. In like, like, I just, I feel... We need to have, we need to keep an open channel. We need to keep a good communication. We need to have better schooling on this. We need people to not feel ashamed and we need to remove the stigma around it by talking openly about it. We should not have to feel ashamed for what we're going through because there is nothing wrong with us, with you. There's nothing wrong with you at all. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with any of my friends. We're all just dealing with things a little differently than people who are neurotypical are. And that's fine. Everybody has different experiences in life. But we shouldn't have to suffer because we have a harder time dealing with certain things than neurotypical people do. So, you know, if you think that your friend is struggling with something, talk to them. Don't, don't go to them and say, dear God, Lord, go to therapy. Don't be rude about it. But like, talk to them. Say like, hey, let's talk about these things that you're going through. I want to be there for you. And maybe that will make them realize that they do need help. You know, it doesn't have to be them being suicidal or super anorexic or not. Like, even just like little things like them being unable to go out in public by themselves. That's, that's social anxiety. That is something that you want to be able to talk through and you want to be able to tell people about so that they can help you with it. Be that person that somebody else needs to talk to. And I hope that I can be that person for you guys as much as possible. I also hope that all of this made sense. I really didn't have a plan coming into this video. I just really wanted to have a conversation about why we need better education and more open conversation about mental illness, especially right now on Mental Health Awareness Week. So, you know, please, guys, support each other, be open with each other, 
don't judge each other for what they're going through. You don't know what anybody's going through at any time, which is why you need to ignore the negativity and you need to just be as positive as you possibly can be because sometimes all you need is somebody to smile at you. So um, that's all I'm going to say about this because I could go on forever. I'm sure I'll be making a lot more videos about mental illness and um, because I really want to be as much of an advocate as I can for... Um, people with mental illnesses and people with anxiety and specifically you know LGBT people that are dealing with mental illnesses because that is a very prevalent problem in the community um, so um, please uh, guys mental health awareness week um, raise awareness as much as you can even beyond this week don't just limit it to this week okay it's important all the time so um, I'm gonna stop. I love you guys so much. You're all super super amazing Please never hesitate to talk to me, and I love you all and you're all amazing um, Yeah, <laughs> okay, bye